What's up, boys? Are we excited to play Mario Kart? Of course I am, but Joe, why do you sound so excited? You're not even playing. What? I'm not? How come? I only have two controllers, Joe. And me and Barack voted against you playing. Barack, we were partners for years. Why wouldn't you pick me? Because, Joe, you suck. Wow, I love the enthusiasm, Barack. Okay, so who is who? Joe, you better not start with that who crap today. I am not in the mood. Oh, are you not in the mood because your name got released in those court documents about Epstein Donald? Joe, Epstein was a business partner. Nothing more, nothing less. Come on now. If we were expecting anyone's name to be on there, it would have been yours, Joe. Remember, you are the purvey one here. Donald, how are you going to try and pull that Epstein was only a business partner? Everyone knows what was going on on that island. Barack, nothing went on on that island. We merely flew with the man. Who is we? Well, me and Melania, of course. Do you really think that my wife would want to be left at home if I am flying with my friend somewhere and she knows what is going on there? So you admit that you both had knowledge of what was really going on on that island, huh, Donald? Barack, of course I never participated or got involved on that level. I mean, look at me. Do you really think my wife would want a man like me? Dang, Donald. Why did you have to say it like that? Like we are all supposed to throw you a pity party? Did I ask for a pity party, Joe? No. So don't start thinking that I am trying to have one. I am merely asking you to level with me as men. Well, Barack has to understand. At least he is a real man. Are you trying to say I'm not a real man, Donald? Yes, that is exactly what I'm trying to say, Joe. So you are trying to tell me that you and your wife went on Epstein's plane to Epstein's island so your wife could do whatever she wanted with anyone she wanted because she thinks you're a fat ball of lard? Well, she did not call me a fat piece of lard, but yes, Barack, that is kind of what she insinuated. Hmm. Interesting, Donald. Very interesting. Guys, I'm so confused right now. Who is who? I keep trying to guess and I can't tell. I need to know who to root for. Well, Joe, who do you think is who? I don't know. Honestly, I would guess that you, Donald, are player one because you always feel the need to be ahead of everyone else. Also because that character of yours is doing the most. Goodness, Joe, it is so painful hearing you speak. It's like after each word, we all just wait to see if you actually will be able to get another word out or if you are just going to forget you were speaking and just stop mid-sentence or forget what you were even talking about and start speaking some mumbo gumbo. It's not gumbo, it's jumbo, you ding dong. Well, Joe, you were right. I am Tanuki Mario and Donald is the god-awful piranha flower looking plant. Yes, Joe. Barack is Tanuki, of course. You wouldn't catch me dead in that character. Why not Donald? Tanuki is literally Mario. Mario is the main character in Mario Brothers. That is true, Donald. I am surprised you are pooping on Mario so hard. Joe, who says pooping on? You are so weird. I may be weird, but at least my name wasn't revealed on that list of Epstein's perv buddies. Ha, ha, ha. Joe, for all we know, your name is just waiting to be released, too. Don't forget your infatuation with kids and their hair. Gosh dang it, Donald, when are you going to give that up? I mean, seriously, you are going to give me a stroke someday just sitting here stressing about all of the bullcrap jokes you were saying because I literally cannot remember anything of that sort happening. Dang, maybe we need to get Joe angry more often, Donald. That is the clearest and most coherent I have literally ever heard him speak. Ever. That was actually so shocking. I'm going to have to tell Jill about this. What? Will she be surprised he could actually speak without a script and without someone giving him a cue to talk? Ha 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 ha. Oh, ha ha, Donald, you are so funny. I am laughing my butt off. Oh, I know I am funny, Joe. You don't have to tell me that. I'm actually surprised I got third. You know, Barack, I am too, but that is good. You should be very proud. Barack, you're doing good. Maybe you can beat Donald. Oh, hold on there, Joe. Hold on there. I said he is doing good and he should be very proud. But I did not say he was doing as good as me. That would be shocking. You know, Donald, one day, me and Joe are going to destroy you in some game that you can't even fathom figuring out how to play. And then you are going to be such a crybaby. Oh, wah, wah. I am crying already and shaking in my boots. I am so scared. You know, Donald, you don't have to be such a dick about it. Joe, your jokes are so childish, it is hilarious. You know, that makes me wonder why you are so childish in general. 
Maybe it's because you really were on that plane to Epstein's Island, huh? You would be the one to know, Donald. You literally were on that plane to that island. Like, that is a proven fact at this point. The receipts have been revealed. Barack, I am telling you, I was only there on rare occasions. And it was all always for my wife, Melania. Donald, that is still going there. You know, boys, I used his jet many, many times in the 90s. But those documents never revealed that I went to that island. So what was all that talk about you being on the island for your wife, Melania, then, Donald? Barack? I kid, of course. You really think I would just give up those details so easily? Let alone if they were actually factual. Come on now, you boys know me better than that. You like to sit here and think I am a dumb, fat piece of lard, but really I am smarter than you both. I am deceiving and I am sneaky. Don't cross me, boys. Well, dang, Donald, that just got really dark and low-key threatening, geez. Threatening? I would never threaten anyone, let alone my buddy old pals. <laughs> Donald, you should go try out for some horror roles. Your evil laugh is a little too convincing. I am actually scared now. Gosh, Joe, you are such a scared cat. Grow up, old man. I am simply playing with you. Like Donald said, Joe, don't cross him, I guess. Well, how severe is crossing the line if I beat his butt again this year? Oh, Joe, that just simply will not happen. Come on now, you can barely form a sentence. Do you really think you'll even make it to this winter anyways? Gosh, Donald, this is actually getting very dark. Dark? More like we are simply talking about reality. I mean, really, Barack? Do you think that Joe will make it to this winter? Do you really think he could even get up on that podium and do the debates with his fellow Democrats, let alone us Republicans? You know how we can get. We don't back down, and really, we are bullies, to be honest. Especially when it comes to winning. We will do anything to win. Donald, I do not doubt that. I really don't. It's just that the tone you are setting is really spooky and kind of confusing. We can't tell if you are actually joking or if you are being serious. Barack, this is the last time I am going to give you both any type of security, let alone reassurance, that I am not being threatening or dark or spooky in any way. I am just simply being myself. And if my demeanor is giving off, that I am literally scary and threatening, then I am honestly proud and happy. I don't want to give off the energy that I am a fruitcake or scared of anyone. Beautiful speech, Donald, beautiful speech. We all know that you can be scary, but I get it. No one wants to be known as the world fruitcake. No, Joe, they don't. Also, boys, let's just do the three rounds today. I have to debrief my family about what is going on and what to say about this island bull crap. I just don't want anyone going around saying stuff that is not true, and for everyone to think we are pervs. I get it, Donald, I get it. I wouldn't want anyone, let alone my family, making it seem like we are something that we definitely are not. Exactly, Barack. See, you get it. I am so happy to have you in my corner now after all of these years. Well, Donald, I cannot promise I will be in your corner indefinitely. Especially now that all of this bullcrap, as you said, is now released in the news, and everyone has the free will to make their own assumptions and make you into whatever they see fit in their minds. Spoken like a true politician, Barack. Beautiful. Gosh, these tracks are so quick. I don't know how you boys can keep up with it going at 200 cc. I would be so lost. Yes, Joe. And that is exactly why we did not pick you. You are way too slow in gaming, let alone in actually being able to process anything. This game is going too quick for you. I don't think you would even be able to understand where to go, let alone how to work all of the buttons so quickly and smoothly that you would place something that wasn't last. Oh gosh, Donald, this is Rainbow Road. I'm scared. Barack, why are you scared? This map is a classic. Because, Donald, everything goes so quickly and you can fall off so easily. Just relax, Barack. You can do it. Just take it slow and actually pay attention to where you are going and where the next turn is. Oh, yeah, I would have definitely already fallen off like 20 times if I were playing this map. Yes, Joe, that is not a shocker. See, Barack? You had nothing to worry about? You are in second place? That is really good especially for someone who normally sucks at Rainbow Road. Oh gosh, Donald, I really hope you didn't just jinx me. Barack, you cannot jinx real talent. 
You have to stop letting people get into your head. At least don't let me. I think I am the only one who can actually semi get in there to make you worry and scared. Of course, Donald, you and Michelle are the only people I am honestly semi scared of. Semi scared? Well, yes, I am only semi scared of you, Donald, and then Michelle. I am terrified. Oh, I get it, Barack, I get it. I am horrified of Melania. She terrifies me every day. I feel like she is secretly a spy, trying to get information on me to destroy me. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the reason for my downfall someday. Mm -hmm. And how can we speed up that downfall process, Donald? Oh, Joe, you only wish you could even fathom the thought of helping destroy me. You are too old and frail, buddy. Just give it up. It simply will not happen. Never say never, Donald. Never say never. Um, I think it's justified to say when it is pertaining to you there, bud. I doubt you will make it to winter, honestly, Joe. I mean, do you really think you would be able to take on other candidates at the podium? You can barely speak when it is just you. Okay, isn't there a screen there telling me what to say? No, Joe, there is not. Can you even read still? You're always squinting your eyes like you can't see. That's how you block out the haters, Barack. Oh, good Lord, Barack, what are we going to do? Joe is losing it more and more every day. This is ridiculous. Yes, Donald, it is insane. I really don't even know what to do anymore. I have tried talking to Jill, and she is oblivious to the fact that her time in the White House is going to be over soon. Well, she better be comfortable with that reality as soon as possible. Time for the real woman to be back in office as the First Lady. The robot spy? Very funny, Joe. Ha ha. You are making me die of laughter. Gosh dang it, Barack, how did you swing past me for first? I'm quick, Donald. Well, even if you get first this race, I still trump you for the whole game. Ha ha ha, no pun intended. Ha ha, you are hilarious, Donald. Yeah, yeah, okay, boys, see you soon. All right, Donald, we will play again as soon as we can. Maybe next time I can play? Um, yeah, we will see about that one, Joe. That is still very up in the air. Dang it. Well, okay, see you boys later. See you later, Joe. See you later, Donald. That was a great game today. Love it. Bye.